Welcome to another edition of Valor Life. The story we've got today is a man named James Smith. And we often talk, we talk a lot of times about peer pressure when we're young and the things that influence young lives that later affect them for the rest of their lives. He's another story like that. Powerful man who's turned his life around, but boy, it wasn't easy. And now he's here. Like I said, you like purple, huh? Is that your favorite <laughs> color? Uh, one of them. One of, what's the other one? Uh, I like blue and gray. Oh, did you grow up as a kid liking colors, if you could, I wearing did. stuff like that? Yes, sir, I did. Where'd you grow up? Where was I, home? I grew up in uh, the east side of Nashville. Really? East, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. What was life like? Uh, life coming up was, uh, my mom and my dad, they was together, but my mother was more so the breadwinner. You know, my dad was kind of uh, doing his own thing, kind of in the streets. Oh, man. Brothers and sisters? Yes, I have uh, I have quite a few brothers on my father's side, and I have three sisters on my mother's side. Mm. What was it like neighborhood? What was it as a kid for you? Uh, neighborhood, it was it was rough. Did you had a fight for your spot? Basically, yes. I grew up. Uh oh. Fight. <laughs> Yes. Did you? Yes, I did. You almost got a smile in your face. <laughs> was that kind of a sign of manhood? You, that's the only way you could get your peace? Well, uh, now nah, it was more so like the other kids was already fighting, and you know, you have to, sometimes you have to fight so they won't continue to pick on you. Gotcha. It all started, uh, my mom and my dad split up, so we ended up moving to New York for a while. And then uh, we come back, and we end up, my mom, my dad went on his way, and my mom ended up uh, moving on the south side of Nashville in the housing development over uh, in Edge Hill projects. And uh, that's where I grew up at. Did it bother you if your dad's up and gone? Here you are trying to fend for yourself? Yes, it did, because uh, I really, my dad had a, he had a bad side about him, but he also had a good side about him. And I, I always looked up to my dad, and I always wanted him around. Oh. So. But did you start hanging with the wrong people? Yes, sir, what, I did. What got you, is that what got you in trouble? Yes, sir, I did. did were you homeless for a while? Yes, sir, I was. How long? Uh, I, I've been homeless off and on, uh, I want to say 12, 13 years off and oh. on. Oh. Mm -hmm. How do you do that, James? I look around and see people that it's like, how, how, how do you survive? I mean, uh, off the land. I mean, I mean, uh, does yes. that include stealing and stuff or whatever you had to do to make it? You yes. wouldn't know from day to day where you'd get your meals or would you have places where you think you could go to? Uh, oh, we could always go to the mission, but I, I mean, I, I was so bad to the point where I would get put out of the mission. I would get suspended and couldn't come. And Why, attitude? Stuff like that. Attitude, fighting, stuff like that. What happened? Att attitude played a big deal. See, but now I look at this man with, a, with kind of a smile on his face. What happened? How, do you, how did you change? Uh, for one, uh, I grew up. For two, I started learning from my mistakes. For three, I realized if I keep doing the same thing, this was going to be the result of me doing wrong. So I had to make a change in my own right. self. Uh, once I learned about Men of Valor, it was a place that I, I, I felt like I wanted to be. I felt like God wanted me to be. Bingo. You, you just said, I was going to say, to accept Men of Valor, you have to accept what they stand for, which is our Lord. Right. Where Did he play any role in your life before then? Yes, he did. But you just kind of neglected him? Yes, I did. Why? Just... Because you're doing yes. your own thing. Yes, and peer pressure and pressure of life and just giving up when life get hard. Yeah. Uh, resulting to what I knew then. But see, when I came here, I, I know something I know something different. Wow. See, you know, it's positive. I've, I've had hit people tell me this religion thing and God thing means you're weak, man. You can't handle it yourself. No. Is, it, is that the kind of talk out in the street? But you, yes. but, but look at you. You're saying that's... That's not it. Nah, that's not it. That's not it. Until now, you're, you're homeless and you're sitting in this facility. This has got to be from a year ago to now. What's the change? 
I went to jail and I just made up in my mind one day when I was locked up that I'm not going to do this anymore. If it take me and her have to separate, then that's what I'm going to have to do. So the whole time I was incarcerated, which was nothing but 90 days, uh, she had went to rehab and I had got out to Mental Valor, got out of jail to Mental Valor. And the whole time I didn't know she was getting herself together while I was getting myself together. And she had called me and she really was trying, but she fell off. And I had, well, I had told her that uh, I was going to continue to do mental violence because I didn't want to stay with nobody anymore. I didn't want to try to pay by the week with a hotel. And then I wanted to get to know God for myself and, you know, more. And uh, I stayed, but she ended up relapsing, falling off, and she ended up getting killed. Whoa. So, uh, in what way, if you don't mind? She was in a car wreck. That just happened recently. Yes, sir. About uh, like two weeks ago. What does that do to your faith? Uh, I felt like giving up, uh, but God kept me. Men of valor, the prayers, they was here for me. I had broke down. They had circled me and prayed for me. Uh, I went on and went to the funeral and everything, and it, it was just something that I had no control over, and I have to continue to go on with my life and just pray that if she was only able to say Jesus, you know, that that got her in. So I have to continue to just do what God got set out for me to do. Oh. Walking by faith is not easy, but it's the only thing you you got sometimes, isn't it? In this case, yes, for sir. you, that's all I had. Yes, sir. You gonna be a man of faith all your life? All my life. You keep it, my friend. Yes, sir. So, did you hear what he said? That's remarkable. He goes through all of that, gives his life, and then the tragedy of his fiance being killed. But he has said all along, "I'm a man of faith. He is my God, regardless." Those are the stories we're bringing you here on Valor Life.